So here we are three weeks into being a full-time content creator and it's gone pretty well so far. There's still some areas where I'm absolutely not hitting the mark, but there's a lot to be said that is very, very good. I've stayed pretty consistent with my content production on social media channels. I've been a lot less consistent on my long form content. So the stuff that you're seeing on YouTube and that is a barrier that I need to try and get over because this channel is so incredibly important to me and strategically, like in the long term, I think it's probably one of the most valuable channels that I'll have. It's stood the test of time. You can build a really engaged audience on there. There's good monetization opportunities. There's lots of good things to be said about YouTube and I'm just not putting enough into it yet. I have got some ideas around stuff that I wanna do on here but there is something that is blocking me from doing it. And it's not a physical thing, it's more like a, a mental block that I need to get over. Uh, but I'm standing here now doing a YouTube video, so that's always a good sign. In terms of the progress that I have made, let's look at the good bits so far. Within the first week of me going full time, I managed to hit my target of 10,000 followers over on TikTok. It took me probably almost a year to reach 6,000, and then only a month or two to reach 10,000. So that is growing much quicker than I expected it to at this point. And it definitely made a difference being full time, but also being very open about my situation and probably creating a little bit of controversy in terms of me saying, I've lost my job and I'm, I'm not looking for a new one, I'm just gonna play video games. But that's just the hook for social media. This channel gives me the opportunity to talk much more in depth about why I'm doing the things I'm doing and how I'm managing to do it. So since we last spoke, I've obviously topped the 10,000 followers mark, which means I can monetize on TikTok now. I can enter the creativity program and get paid for the views that I'm getting. Now, at the moment, that's not yielding huge amounts of money. I, since I got that probably two weeks ago, I've probably earned about six pounds or something. But the fact that I have the opportunity to do that, and if I can build up the views regularly, that might provide me with a decent amount of income over time if I can continue to build that engagement on the channel. And it's looking like it's going that way. Things are working well, videos are getting views. Uh, also since then, I've developed a really solid schedule. So from around eight until around 12, sometimes 11 a.m., I'm basically down in my cabin creating content. So that means I am researching gaming news, I am creating a board i've got a board now that shows me this is all the stuff that you need to record this is what's recorded this is what needs to be edited this is what's posted etc etc so that's all very organized now so i'll basically research the gaming news and then i will create the videos and get down to editing that all happens between 8 and 12 usually at 12 o'clock i take a bit of a lunch break and then at uh, one o'clock or just after one i'm basically live streaming now on monday wednesday and friday those are long days for me because I'm live streaming from one until around four. Then I take a 30 minute break. And then from four until uh, seven, 7.30, I'm streaming again. And the reason I'm doing that is because my core audience that I built, some of my longest term followers and people that sit in the live stream, joined me when I was doing 4.30 till 7.30, 8 o'clock stream. So they were there in the evening. And fundamentally what I was doing was playing story-driven games. Uh, so things like Red Dead Redemption 2, um, Cyberpunk, Hogwarts Legacy, God of War, those kind of games. And that's why they started following me. I've never been a, uh, you know, shooter, like Fortnite, Call of Duty streamer. That's never really been what I'm about. I was always about story-driven and variety of games. Uh, so on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which is my traditional streaming days, what I'll do is in the days I'll play things like Fortnite or shooter games, things that are popular, things that are trending, things that might bring a new audience to me. And then in the evening on those days, I'll play the story driven games. So I'm getting to do the things that I really love to do and my original audience joined me for, um, but I'm also being able to attract a new audience. On the other days, I don't stream in the evening. I'll just do one single stream and that'll run from around one until five or six. And that will be the more kind of, still games that I enjoy, but more popular games, community games. So I play Fortnite with my community. I just picked up Helldivers 2. I'm gonna be doing a review on that soon. So please do check that out. 
But the point is I've got a really solid schedule and a really solid method about how I'm producing content, how I'm editing it and how I'm putting it out. YouTube itself just needs to become more consistent. Not only is it slightly harder, it's not harder to come up with ideas. I don't know why I'm saying that. I've got ideas, I'm just not executing them on, on them because I'm still trying to figure out how I fit them into my schedule. I need dedicated time to be able to produce long form content and I'm just, I just haven't slotted that into my schedule yet and that's something that I have to do. In order for me to do that, it requires me to be ahead of the game on the short form content. The problem with the short form content is you need volume, right? I need three posts a day. So what's that, 21, some 21 posts a week minimum, and then there'll be other posts that I do as well. So if on a Monday I don't get my arse into gear on a Monday morning and I don't get posts produced, it means I'm already behind the curve and I'm having to do stuff on the fly, which means every single day I have to be recording short form content. This week, for example, on a Monday, I did get my ass into gear and I recorded about six or seven videos, which means I've got enough to edit and post to get me through today, three or four posts a day. And it gives me this time in the morning to actually do long form content. So that's gonna be the aim in the future is Monday morning, produce six to eight pieces of content for short form and then dedicate Tuesday to long form content. And Friday will be the same thing. I've got to produce enough content that's going to get me through the weekend. So it might have to be eight or nine pieces of content, depending on, on what I'm going to be doing. One of the key things that I want to talk about, though, and I really want to get across, is the reason I'm doing this is because it makes me incredibly happy. Being creative makes me happy. Making videos makes me happy. Talking to my audience on a live stream makes me happy. It's fulfilling me in a way that I haven't been fulfilled in a, in a long time. That's the core reason for doing this. I'm basically trying to trust the process. I'm trying to put myself in a position where I go, if I create content consistently enough, if that content is good consistently enough, the money will come with time. I have got to have faith that the money will come with time. And that might not be within the five, six months that I've set out to do this full time. I may have to go and do some freelance work. I may have to do some uh, side pieces of work outside of this, but this will fundamentally be my full time job. And everything outside of that will be a side hustle in order to enable this. But no amount of money, and I've earned a fair bit of money in my career, no amount of money makes not doing this worthwhile, not being creative, not producing stuff. I've got a few other ideas that I want to do as well around short films and things that don't really sit within this channel necessarily, but they're just things that I want to do creatively. And I'm really excited to, to, to start doing that. I went to a screening of a short film uh, the other week in London. And what it showed me was that that stuff is possible. That stuff is open to you. These guys, for a fairly small budget for a film of that size and for a fairly small team, produced a really, really beautiful animation. It was impeccably written, beautifully directed, all of the things you'd expect of any kind of film, but they did it within all of these restrictions. They didn't have as much money as they wanted. They didn't have the team size that they wanted. They didn't have the time that they wanted, but they still produced an amazing piece of art. And that's... What I'm aiming to do is to not ask myself, not say to myself, these things aren't possible because I don't have the right camera, I don't have the right light, or I don't have the right this, or I don't have the right that. It's about asking myself, what can I achieve with the, with the restrictions that I do actually have? So I've got a camera, I've got a light, and I've got a microphone. What is possible within the remit of that equipment and within the remit of my skill. And the only thing really stopping me is me getting off my ass and going out there and actually doing stuff, filming stuff, writing stuff, producing stuff. So it's been a really exciting first three weeks and I'm basically just giving everything I can into producing as much high quality content as I possibly can. And I apologize that YouTube hasn't been as uh, frequent as I want it to. I do have a goal of producing two to three pieces of content per week on YouTube. And those are pieces that will be anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes, I guess. 
I do have some more podcast bookings coming up, some interesting people to speak to. I've got two or three of those, so they will be coming out soon. Um, I'll be recording them in the next couple of weeks. And I will try to make sure the Charm Diaries are more consistent. This stuff is more consistent. If you do have any questions, anything you want to know that I'm not talking about, specifically about me becoming a full-time content creator, or gaming in general, I guess, then do ask them in the comments and I will try to make a video that answers your questions uh, in more depth. Finally, I just want to finish by saying I really appreciate all the support that's been given to me, not just by the people who follow me and join my live streams, but by other streamers as well. It's just been absolutely phenomenal. People that um, I, I know fairly well, but then others that I don't know as well who are, who are supporting me because they are they appreciate that what I'm doing is not easy. Going full time is not easy. I'm in a privileged position to be able to do this, but it still doesn't make it easy. Anyway, it's been a, a phenomenal three weeks. Lots of growth over on TikTok. Some growth here on uh, YouTube as well. And we've seen some videos do some decent views relative to my channel. I am doing some work to try and call some of the old content and bring more new content to the, to the channel. So do keep an eye out for that. If you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. There's going to be lots more content about me becoming a full-time content creator and also lots more gaming content. I'll catch you on the next one.